Welcome back to Space Program Manager. We had a small setback in the last episode. Um, our 7K OK failed its uncrewed suborbital test. And we got downgraded a chunk. So we are going to have to work on that pretty hard. Um, we've had a number of people come back from training, so we are going to take the opportunity to reprioritize, make sure everybody is uh, assigned to the most appropriate task in the order of how important it is to us. Venus flyby. I mean 2.7 is going to take us to 80%. We'll see. We'll see. We might prioritize that one. I think the 7k OK is going to be the um, higher priority you're already 85 percent so i'm really really pleased with that you probably you're a higher percentage than the one that's going to just go around earth a bit which is crazy and then finally the rocket programs have we got anybody yes we have got end one people working hard on that right so our priority is the 7K OK. Um, the R&D on the rocket is already a maximum reliability. So we just get the best people we can on there. That take us to 74%. That's not high enough to do another flight. Not yet. Next priority, I think, is my Venus. probe so we get the next best people working on that that's going to be 80.9 that is probably not quite good enough next one i want to do will be the 7k ok i'm going to say the eva suit Yeah, you guys are not brilliant on anything else, so I may as well give that one a boost. Right, what would be next? Probably would look to do the Mars one next as a priority state. Well lagging behind, aren't they? I mean, these guys. I mean, you're good for human rated rockets. You're not good for anything. Well, you are. You're good for training. Come back to that. Um, now let's check out the rockets. Manage the rocket program. This one's maximum current is 93.3. .3. Maximum reliability is 93.3. Proton K a booster is 86.1. The max reliability is 89. So I might, I could do that. So you can go to there. I want these guys to be on the human rated rockets. You're 60%. What were you on human rated rockets? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's another 1.5 on the M1 because that's that's future. That is future. You're as high as you can be, so we might as well possibly come back. 
47%. That's not great. Let's see if we want to use anybody else there first. Uh, where were we? 7k L1. You've got another 10%. So, a couple people there. That seems good to me. You're not going to do anything else for anybody else, so you may as well. What am I looking at? 1.3. What am I increasing here? 1.6. 1.8. Okay. You can do that. Let's go back to the Mars. Okay, 54, that's going for 2.7 to 3.3. Yeah, okay, you can have that one more person. And then finally, we'll have a look at the rocket program. And I'm thinking it's about just forgetting about that one. Always using the other one, 93.3. It's more expensive. 5,800 instead of 4,000. I can lift more weight into. Totally not worth putting you in. What would that give us? A point 0.1. Point two. It is not worth it. They could go to training. They would be much better for training. Right. Again, we'll see how soon you're back. You're back. A whole bunch of them back in two seasons. So we're not getting them back for a little while. But you could go into getting better at human rated rockets. That wouldn't be a bad idea. So the N1 is probably the best we need, and that will be done. Crude spacecraft, maybe? I think so. And probably the same for you, I should think. That's good. Cosmonauts back up to five. Training a whole bunch of them back in one season. Don't think we're going to use any of these guys this season because they are going to be into the. I was hope maybe using a 7k. Okay, but that's not going to be up to scratch. So all of these guys could go into training for three more seasons. And then think how good some of these guys see. These are our best guys, look. Yes, you need to be on our moon landing, and that means your EVA needs to go up. You are brilliant. We'll come back to you. You could do with more fitness. That leaves us with three, which is not enough to do a flight anyway. Um, you haven't had you because you're so good at uh, leadership. You get used for Capcom all the time, so have some science work. And you're really lacking on science too, so grab some science work. And you could do with not a lot science. Tell you what, why don't you science continuous? You're currently 75.1. I want you 80% science. So that could be one season, could be more, could be less. Who knows? Where is he anyway? Was that him? Yeah. Says three seasons, but I think it just says that until they're out. Controllers, right, we need to see first of all whether we're going to risk anything. 
Venusaur, bitte. I'm happy with the rocket. Very happy with the rocket. It's 93%. I mean, I might even go with the cheaper rocket. of a risk but could be 80.9 percent that just tells you about the rocket what does he say there are no penalties due to unachieved goals the company of the mission is 82 percent if i reckon i believe it's safe to launch this mission okay Korolov. schedule the mission Best booster guy, 96%. Brilliant spacecraft systems, 96%. Very good. Uh, trajectory, 88%. I'm good with that one. Experiments, needs to be crew and payload, 91%. Can't beat that. And Maxim, he is pretty good on everything. So mission operations is... Oh, crew payloads and mission operations are the only two things that he's not the bestest at. But I think he'll cover everything. That's a really good tight knit crew for that. Confirmed. Um, I guess it's 12. Manage programs. Let's have a look at the Venus orbiter. That's what we're doing. What's the Mars one going to be like? R&D. No, it's still lagging behind. So the Venus, the next one would be... Yeah, you need the Venus orbiter before you do that one for sure. Four thousand. I mean, I don't want to open that yet. That's, that's we can save that. Um, and Mars, the Mars lander. Again, we're not we're not there yet. So I can't schedule another mission. I'd like to schedule another mission. We could do two in this one season, couldn't we? Uncrewed orbital flight. We haven't done the uncrewed orbital flight of, of anything. So we can't do that one yet because of the 10% deduction that we have. That would be 76%. That would be a risk. And then the 7k, okay. Even if we went to this first one again, 74%. It's not worth the risk. So, training time. Who we can't come back from training? Two seasons, one season, one season, one season. We got three people back. In one season, all these guys available. See, I'm going to send you for possibly some mission operation training so you become a different, a better controller. Who else? See, why is that highlighted as 62% when he's got a 76% there? Nah. I don't know why. Lots of people on trajectories there.
Is it he's the best mission operations? No, he's not. Because look, they're on. Is that recommended what you should be training in? Go on, mission operations. What do you think? One more? Look, we got 79% for trajectory and guidance. Let's give him trajectory and guidance. It's only going to give you another 8%, but I think it is worth it to push him beyond that extra. That gives us 9 plus uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Should be able to make a team out of that lot. Right. Here we go. Let's do this mission nice and quick. Get this get this done. Um, I think that's everything we need to do. Yes. So the 7K OK has gone up to 74%. That needs to go back up again a bit more. EVA suits coming along nicely, but it's only a secondary thing. The 7K L1, that's tipping up nicely. The Mars 69, M69. Let's get in there, but we're not rushing that one anymore. The N1, gradual. And the Venus one. It's 80.7. That's the one that's going today. 83% chance of success. That should be good. good. Could earn 5,000 prestige, or we could lose 750. Uh, it's all good. Not a lot to worry about. Perry for launch. So this is not our bestest rocket, but this rocket is pretty good, and th if this goes well, this mission, it should mean that it doesn't need any more RNA work. So far, so good. First mission to Venus, this one. Yes, Bearings removed. Nice. I think we're about to do the uh, um, ejection burn towards Venus. So, rocket done. That's good. Now it's just the probe. Success! Season 1 of 6. Oh, so that takes a while. Okay. So we're just going to wait and see what happens. So, so far, so good. Probe's up to 5.3% already. That is brilliant. And the rocket up to 4.3% uh, done and dusted, which is excellent. Um, I don't expect these these um, flight controllers to go up an awful lot because of 1%. That's not bad for navigation because they're already really quite skilled. So Fallen Cosmonauts have graduated from advanced training. Excellent. That's good to see. Lots, lots more skills going up there. Um, Flight controllers also graduate from advanced training. Excellent, more skills there. Launch in progress mission um, will be the, is the Venus. And operation failures in the VAB will limit the maximum amount of missions that can be scheduled and assembled during this season to one. Okay. That's fine. Join us on the next episode where we cope with that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.